booked last week, I had a wedding shoot in New York City, so I decided to fly in a day earlier just to explore. Thank you for flying with us today. I guess I never told you guys directly, but I started working for another wedding video company that does more destination luxury weddings, so that's why I've been traveling a lot more for work. And whenever I have a destination wedding shoot, I usually try to turn that into a solo trip as well because the flight is already covered and I love traveling, so yeah. For this specific trip, I also didn't want to just fly in and go straight to work so that's why I decided to come in a day earlier but I didn't know that hotels would actually be so expensive. The last few times I went to New York City, I could find decent accommodation for 150 to 200 a night but I don't know why when I looked this time around, all the decent hotels were around 400 a night which is crazy. Anything between the 100 to 300 mark, Honestly, they look so sketchy and unsafe that I felt like it was better to just pay the extra money for safety, you know what I mean? Once I got to my hotel, I stored my luggage there and then I ran over to the Dear Evan Hansen box office because I was trying to see if I could get rush tickets. Unfortunately, they were all sold out though and after some thinking, I decided to just buy the regular tickets because I really wanted to see the musical and also that weekend was gonna be their last Broadway performance ever so if I didn't see it now, I probably wouldn't ever see it again. After that, I made my way to Ellen Stardust Diner which is known for its singing servers. Basically, all the servers there are trying to make it onto Broadway, so while you eat your food, you can enjoy some great entertainment. After eating lunch, I walked towards Times Square to just enjoy the view and the vibes. There's also a cute Line Friends store right in the center of Times Square. I checked it out for fun and then I went back to my hotel. My foot is bleeding from my shoe. She has blood all over it. Oh my gosh. Why does it feel like I just did some like, dirty work? After settling in, I walked towards B&H, which was only 5 minutes away from my hotel because Marthy was looking for this light and it's actually cheaper to buy it in the States than having it shipped to Canada. I love going to B&H because it's like a giant toy store and it was really funny because one employee looked at me and told me he liked my smile. I think it's just because I looked very excited to be there, so seeing me smile made him smile too. How's your day so far? Can you see me? Don't look at the light, okay? You gotta point it away if you turn it on. It's very strong. Oh, almost did it blind me? Possibly. Throughout the past year, Marthy and I have been investing in a lot of gear to upgrade our quality. Oh, that's like a lightsaber. What Kelvin is that? 55. Like, you can literally, like, imitate the sun. Yeah. And that's, imagine that's only 20%. 80. I really like how we push each other to become better artists. Oh my god, it's lighting the whole room. Is it? <laughs> you can change the color too. Yeah. RGB. Yeah, you can change the color. Yes, RGB. It looks like my RGB. After all the running around, I was really thirsty, so I got my signature strawberry acai lemonade drink from Starbucks. They called me Belle instead of Mel though. Next, I went to Target and I saw some Halloween costumes that reminded me of when I used to dress up as a jack-o'-lantern for like five years in a row because my parents wouldn't let me buy a new costume. Once I was done roaming around, I made my way to Dear Evan Hansen. I was 30 minutes early and there was already a huge lineup outside. Inside the theater, they were selling drinks like water, wine, and they also had a bar in the basement, so you can basically be buzzed while watching the musical. I wasn't allowed to film the actual show, but it was so amazing, and if you guys haven't seen a musical yet, I hope you get to one day because it's such an incredible experience. 
To end off the night, I grabbed a shroom burger and a cookies and cream milkshake from Shake Shack. Day one of New York is done. I feel like that was a pretty New York day. <laughs> the next morning, I slept in. <laughs> one of the best feelings in the world. It always feels cool to wake up in a different country. It just reinforces the fact that there's so much to explore in this world and so much we haven't experienced yet. Morning everyone. I just finished putting on my makeup. I'm gonna get changed now and then try to grab some breakfast at Angelina Bakery. I walked past it yesterday and the pastries looked really good. So yeah, I'm gonna try to grab one before I have to check out. This is how I actually sleep at night. <laughs> I build a pillow barrier so that I feel more safe in the hotel room. I don't know if that's silly, but it just makes me feel more protected. <laughs> I do enjoy solo traveling a lot, but there are still definitely moments where I'm scared. Like for example, sleeping in the hotel room at night alone sometimes when it's really big or if the place feels a bit haunted, spooky. I should say haunted because I'm scared myself, but um, I am someone who gets scared really easily actually. Like if a bug happens to be on me or if I see something randomly pop out, like I jump. <laughs> um, so I guess it is kind of interesting in a way where I'm not afraid to travel on my own, but there are a lot of things that do scare me but I don't want to let those stuff stop me from traveling so yeah <laughs> at Angelina Bakery everything looks so delicious I wanted to try one of everything but obviously I didn't have enough stomach space so I settled for one strawberry donut this was an Italian donut called a bombolone and it was very fresh and crispy and the inside actually wasn't too sweet either really really yummy <laughs> after breakfast I went back to my hotel to finish packing I was on my way to meet my other co-workers where we would go together to Hampton Bays which is almost 3 hours east of New York City for the wedding shoot. Anyways, that wraps up my one day solo trip in New York City. Hope you guys had fun watching and maybe it'll inspire you to travel more. I feel like solo traveling is such an empowering and liberating experience which is why I want to share with you guys these mini vlogs. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!